What's up, guys? We're back at Jones Subwoofer Solutions. Got some amp dynos for you again. This week, we're starting out with the Audio Legion AL2500.1D from Audio Legion. These are Korean amps. It says here in the manual, so you guys can see it, made in Korea. And I'm told these should be similar to the SCAR SK series. So ratings on this one, 2,500 watts at one ohm, 1,250 watts at two ohms, and 625 watts at four ohms. We'll see if it has that today. Uh, real quick, it does come with a little toolkit, a couple Allen wrenches, a phone cord style bass knob, and unfortunately, we can focus there. Mine came damaged. So I don't know if that works. And Audio Legion, to my understanding, is out of business at this point. They're still selling stuff, but they're not offering any support. So this may or may not be a loss. Um, I may or may not be able to swap that with something else, though. So that is the Audio Legion AL2500. Let me know what you think it'll do. Go ahead and post below your guess, and I'll catch you on the dyno in just a second. All right, guys, here we are on the dyno. Get this thing tested. We'll see what it does. Where we're going to run it today, we're going to start with certified, then we'll do uncertified, and then we'll do dynamic, and we're going to start with 4 ohm, then we'll do 2 ohm, then we'll do 1 ohm. Very last, and maybe at the end here, I don't know, Maybe we'll see if this does uh, point A dynamic, but uh, you have to stick around to see. So uh, let's go ahead and jump into this. Rated 625 watts at four ohms. Certified is up to 1% distortion. This is how most manufacturers are gonna be rating their amps, is uh, like the certified test. Starting at 14.89 volts. Again, 625 watts, let's see what it's got. Well, quite a bit more than rated. Got 904 watts into four ohms. Very good. So we will go back and we'll do two ohms. It's rated 1,250 watts at two ohms. And I'm looking at the manual. It doesn't say what voltage they rate this at. It just says their operating voltage is eight and a half to 16 volts. So we're, uh, we're within uh, reasonable voltage. We're in high 14s right now. So rated 1250 watts, two ohms starting at 14.8 volts. Here we go. Wow, again, way overrated. 1,810 watts into two ohms, dropping to 14.68 volts. Very nice. And the last certified is one ohm. This is rated 2,500 watts at one ohm. And I don't have chargers on, we're just floating on the C-Max. Voltage is dropping just a hair. 14.79 volts starting. Here we go. Rated 2,500 watts. And we got 2,834 watts into one ohm. We dropped to 14.51 volts. So very nice and uh, a bit more than I expected. So we will now go out of certified and into uncertified. Uncertified is the exact same, just the dyno will keep reading even if distortion's present. So we will start with a four ohm uncertified. And again, this was rated 625 watts at four ohms. Here we go.
let it clip a little bit there. We got 991 watts into four ohms, dropped to 14.7 volts. And two ohms, uncertified, rated 1250 watts. Again, uncertified is into clipping. And we got 1,944 watts into two ohms. And one ohm, starting at 14.7 volts. Here we are, again rated 2,500 watts. Holy crap, 3,370 watts into one ohm, dropping to 14.38 volts. Pretty sweet. All right, lastly, we're gonna go into dynamic. Dynamic is a burst test. And it's a 40 hertz track that pulses. Again, we're starting at four ohms. This is rated 625 watts. Here we go. All right, over a thousand watts at four ohms. We got 1,047 watts at four ohms, dropping to 14.7 volts. And two ohms, 40 hertz burst, two ohms rated 1,250 watts. The Audio Legion AL2500, here we go. And we got 2,195 watts into two ohms. We dropped to 14.6 volts. That nearly did uh, its one ohm rating. All right, one ohm, burst track. We're at 14.7 volts, here we go. Rated 2,500 watts. We got 3,662 watts into one ohm, dropping to 14.34 volts. That is pretty crazy. Um, I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna kick on one of my chargers. It's not really gonna bring the battery voltage up much, but it'll give us 100 more amps of current just cause um, that 0.8 is burst is gonna draw a little bit more current. So one sec. All right. Go ahead and do this, 0.8 ohms. Don't know what'll happen. Imagine the sample be fine. 0.8 ohms, we're at 14.83 volts. Doesn't have a factory rating, but this is 2,500 watts at one ohm. Let's see what it does. Burst track. All right, 4,129 watts into 0.8 ohms, drop to 14.38 volts. Hope you guys like that. So that is all I've got uh, for dyno testing on the Audio Legion AL2500. If you guys would go ahead and hit subscribe if you haven't. Let me know your thoughts on this amp below. I'm gonna go ahead and put up a summary of these results and then we'll get a look inside the amp. Catch you back on the bench in a second.
All right, guys, we're back on the bench. Got the uh, AL2500 opened up. We can get a look inside there. Can't quite read those caps. 160 volt. Anyway, pretty clean looking inside. And like we said, uh, this is supposedly very similar to a scar. I'm gonna do my best to get the scar and we'll we'll take a look at it and see if if they are that similar. There is a look at the uh, Korean board and components there. We'll take a look at the end caps. On this end, you have your input, and then you have a master output, and you also have a slave input. That is for strapping the amps. Um, then you've got uh, your gain, subsonic filter or high pass filter is 10 to 60 hertz. Low pass filter, 30 to 250 hertz. Has a bass boost from zero to 12 dB. Adjustable phase shift from 0 to 180 degrees. There's your remote plug and a red protect light and a green power light. And you guys can see the shape of the heat sink. This, this is cool. It's a little different than what you normally see. You get this other end where you can see it. And it does have pretty beefy inputs. Um, we used one knot. Uh, dual inputs and then used uh, two runs of, of the one knot in each input and roughly 10 gauge speaker outputs there is a pair of them those will be bridged inside the amp so that's what we've got for the audio legion al 2500 as usual, if you guys have any comments, any suggestions, any questions, please let me know, post them below. If you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. Helps me a lot if you guys would subscribe. Uh, hit the bell so you know when we post a new video. Got a whole bunch more coming for you guys. And wanna thank you all, we'll see you next time.